Welcome to this class. Today we are going to balance this reaction. This is magnesium, this is phosphoric acid, this is magnesium phosphate and this is hydrogen. Okay, to balance this reaction at first we have to draw a table like this. This is reactant side and this is product side. So in the left hand side we have magnesium, this is one. Then we have hydrogen which is 3, right? Subscript is 3. Then we have phosphate, which is 1. In the right hand side, we have magnesium, which is 3, right? Then we have phosphate, which is 2. Look, subscript is 2. Then we have hydrogen, which is 2. Okay, to balance this reaction means we have to balance the number of magnesium, hydrogen and phosphate from both sides of this reaction. So here magnesium 1 by magnesium 3. So to balance the magnesium, what can I do? I can multiply here by 3, that gives me 3. This 3 must come before this magnesium, right? That is here. Then here hydrogen is 3, hydrogen is 2. So to balance the hydrogen, what can you do? You can multiply here by 2, that gives you 6. And if you multiply here by 3, that gives you 6. If you multiply here by 6, the, uh, if you multiply here, sorry, by 2, then these 2 must come before this hydrogen. That is, you have to place here 2. If you place here 2, the number of hydrogen will be 6. Already you have written, the number of phosphate will be 2. So you need to update the number of phosphate. Okay. So look, magnesium 3, 3, uh, hydrogen. Okay. Now check. Magnesium 3, magnesium 3, then hydrogen 6, hydrogen 6, then phosphate 2, phosphate 2. So everything is balanced. So you can say that this is the balanced reaction. For balanced chemical equation, you can change this arrow sign by equal sign. So thank you for being this video. Be well.